hello in last class we discussed about we discussed about static methods with parameters in this class we are going to discuss about test ng data provider okay. let's discuss what is a test ng data provider so we are writing at the rate data provider this is the new annotation tag we are going to write in our program what this data provider will do we will discuss so what is a data provider means data provider provides the test data to the test okay this is an advanced concept in selenium test ng so you will give all the input data inside the data provider data provider so see here you have given username as admin password as admin123 and nationality text you have given as this one indian 06 and like that you have given two sets of input data okay so this data provider simply it's providing test data to your test okay so your test will be executed uh, your test will be executed two times so first in the first iteration the program will be executed for the first set of input data and the same program will be executed for, for the second set of input data okay so if you are executing the same test with multiple data uh, input data then this concept will be called as data driven test okay now let's see how to implement okay in our last class we have discussed about static methods with parameters same program i'm taking copy taking copy and I'm going back to my data provider lab so here orange theorem test engine data provider lab one just I'm keeping and pasting here okay this is my program so let's discuss just a minute so this is the program I copied just now So in this program, what are the steps we need to write for data provider? First, I want to copy data provider syntax. Okay. So step one is data provider syntax. Okay. Let's copy data provider syntax. Control C and pasting here so so this is the data provider so what is the input data is required for your test username password and nationality text so i only keep username i am only keeping in your data provider only username password and nationality text okay my data provider is ready and my input data is ready and my second point is my, your data provider needs to connect with the test need to connect with your test okay just i'm keeping comments global variables is not at all required so here for this test you, your test needs to connect with the data provider so data provider is equal to whatever data provider name has been given the same name we need to give it here okay just copy So your test is connected with the data provider now you have to give your global variables into the main test so this is so your test is connected with your data provider this is your step two okay and step three is you need to give all the global variables in the method signature okay so string username string password string nationality text so my data provider is ready with the parameter so this is step 3 also completed so just so let's summarize the points what are the changes we have done first pin first we copied data provider syntax and we made changes required changes for the input data and after that your test needs to connect 
your test needs to connect with the data provider so this is what we have done in step 2 okay and step 3 whatever variables are there global variables those we are declaring at the method signature here okay string username string password and string nationality text so if i will run this program your test will be executed two times let's see so i am modifying my input data before executing my program input 144 141 and 142 okay so this test will be executed two times so simply your data provider providing test data to your test let's see Login is successful. It's navigated to nationality. Then 141 record successfully created. First iteration completed successfully. Second iteration also started. See, login successful. Indian 142 record has also created successfully. So now let's see the console. Your test is executed two times. See, your login test is executed two times with first input data as admin, admin123, Indians141, and second one is login test, admin, admin123, Indians142. So if this test is executed two times, that's why in the console we are able to see this test is passed two times okay there is no failures there is no skips so summary is simply your data provider is providing test data to your test that's it okay what is the advantages of the data provider if you are using global variables okay your program will be executed only once but if you want to execute the same test with multiple times main we with multiple times with the different different sets of input data then we will use data provider so this concept will be known as data driven test okay thank you guys that's it only we'll catch you in the next video